Let's do a series today. Let's evaluate the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus all the way up to n squared all over n factorial. So try it on your own and let me know in the comments if you're able to solve it or you can just watch me solve it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up this numerator. So it's still the sum from n equals one to infinity, but the sum of the first n squares, remember we showed this in Minecraft, is equal to n times n plus one times two n plus one over six. Okay, so the numerator is equal to this and then the denominator, denominator is still n factorial. Okay, and so let's factor out the 1 sixth and clean up the numerator. So the numerator is 2n to the third plus 3n squared plus n. And again, it's all over n factorial. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our numerator, which is 2n to the third plus 3n squared plus n, and we want to write it as a linear combination in a certain polynomial basis. It's like this basis that really behaves well with the factorial. So we want to write it as some number a times n, n minus 1, n minus 2, plus b times n times n minus 1, plus c times n. So our goal is to find the values a, b, and c such that this polynomial could be expressed as a, uh, as a linear combination of these three polynomials here. So let's multiply it out. So we have a times n to the third minus 3n squared plus 2n plus b times n squared minus n plus cn is equal to our right hand side, which was 2n to the third plus 3n squared plus n. Okay, clearly a has to equal 2 because it's the only polynomial or it's the only term that has an n to the third. So the coefficient of n to the third has to be equal to 2. So we got a equals 2. Okay, and so this is really 2n to the third minus 6 n squared plus 4n plus all these terms is equal to this. So let's subtract this off. So if we subtract it off, this term cancels. 3n squared minus 6n squared is 9n squared. And n minus 4n is minus 3n. Okay, and now by a similar argument, we have that b is equal to nine, right? Because the coefficient of n squared is nine and the coefficient of n squared here is also nine. So b is equal to nine. Okay, and so let's subtract it off again. So this goes away, this goes away, and minus three n minus nine n is plus 6n. Okay, so 6n is equal to cn, so c equals 6. All right, and so why are we doing this? Well, a lot of terms are going to cancel out when we write out our series now. So our series is 1 sixth, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 2 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over n factorial plus 1 sixth the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 9 times n times n minus 1 over n factorial plus 1 sixth the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 6n over n factorial. Okay, but let's look. When we plug in n equals one here, in this first term, we get zero. Similarly, if we plug in n equals two, we would get zero. So we could rewrite this as the sum from n equals three to infinity 
of this, of this product. Here, it, when we plug in n equals 1, we would get 0. So we could just call this the sum from n equals 2 to infinity. All right, and why are we doing this? Well, let's rewrite n factorial as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. Right? The n's will cancel, the n minus 1's will cancel, and the n minus 2's will cancel. So this is equal to the sum from n equals 3 to infinity of 2 over n minus 3 factorial. So that's just that first term in this sum. By a similar argument, we could rewrite n factorial as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. Right? And the n's cancel, and the n minus 1's cancel. So we have plus 1 sixth, the sum from n equals 2 to infinity of 9 over n minus 2 factorial. And then finally, we could write this n factorial as n times n minus 1 factorial. And the n's, of course, cancel. OK, and so what do we have? Well, we have a bunch of sums that start at different times. So let's switch, starting instead of having n equals 3, let's substitute n minus 3 for n. And so we could start this from 0. So instead of having the sum from n equals 3 to infinity, let's have the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. And this would become an n factorial in the denominator. Similarly, if we start at n equals 0 here, we'd have an n factorial in the denominator. And same thing here. OK, and now the question is, what is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 2 over n factorial? Well, that's just 2 times the Taylor expansion of e. So this is equal to, this first term here is just 2 over 6 times e. This term here is 9 over 6 times e. And this last term is 6 over 6 times e. So the final answer, what is the value of the series that we started with? It's 2 plus 9 plus 6, which is 17 over 6 times e. Well, let me know if you're able to solve it. And uh, let me know if you need more of an explanation for why this series is equal to 2e. Maybe I'll make a video in the future explaining that. But there's been a lot of videos that explain that concept. All right, thanks for watching.